Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Miyazaki's Castle in the Sky in 1986. Um, of course, also known as Laputa Castle in the Sky. And of course, yes, the first um, Studio Ghibli film officially. Um, so yeah, really, really significant here, of course. Um, here it is on Blu-ray, um, another one of the collection. Um, and yes, every watch, um, you know, I first saw this um, around the kind of time that I saw a lot of a bunch of uh, kind of Ghibli's um, back in 2017. Um, you know, I'd seen Spirited Away before this, um, and then I bought, you know, quite a few of them, and kind of binged, um, you know, in the space of kind of a week, um, quite a few, maybe six, six or more um, of Ghibli, Ghibli films, um, you know, and stuff, actually, as well, Your Name, um, around this time, and yes, I think, um, really, I love them all, um, and this is one that I really, I really did love, um, maybe more than some of the other ones, um, it really blew me away, um, it's just a, such a fun film, uh, adventurous film, um, and it's, it's more kind of, um, light-hearted and simpler than, than a lot of the Miyazaki's, um, really, you could say. And yes, you know, it's it's kind of um, very, very acclaimed once again. 95 Rotten Tomatoes, um, very loved. An 8.1, I believe, um, an RDB, so that'll probably be down to an A soon, um, you know. But yes, this film, um, it really is amazing, um, I think. It's just a wonderful work, um, once again, for Miyazaki. Um, and yes, really amazing rewatch um, that I had, of course. Um, you know, I think this film is not, you know... Top tier, you know, in that sense, uh, very top tier Miyazaki work. Um, but I think definitely, um, you know, another masterpiece for me, um, for Miyazaki. It's very hard, it seems, for this guy to kind of make a film um, that's not a great, great film. Um, I've seen seven of his films um, up to this point. Um, so, yes, you know, I've even seen Ponyo, um, which is it's kind of hated on at times. Um, I absolutely loved it. Um, so, yes, this film really, uh, you know, kind of surprised me. Um, it's not talked about as much as some of the other ones um, but again for me this is just um, a thrilling ride um, wonderful fantasy in here you know the world building once again um, just absolutely masterful um, genius uh, creation um, you know this film the visuals absolutely wonderful um, and it's just the spirit that this film has the adventure spirit the fun nature that it has you know very light-hearted um, but it has got some really moving moments um, you know, emotional stuff but it's not one that's you know, kind of devastating like uh, Grave of the Fireflies, which is, of course, you know, one of the ones I watched um, again very recently. And, you know, if I was asked um, what means more to me and what, what do I think is actually better uh, and what do I what do I like more, um, what compels me more, Grave of the Fireflies for me, yes, it, for me it is better. Um, I do prefer it. It's higher on my list, um, but this one is in my top 200 once again. Um, so, yes, one of my top 200 films, um, which is it, it, it's some feat, you know, it's not just because... You know, a lot of films I review, um, you know, in my top 50 or whatever, they get the tier S, the tier 1s. But this film, it's, it's still a film, you know, that I absolutely adore. Anything from my top 250 are films that I, you know, absolutely um, adore. And, and even ones below that, I think, really. Um, but yes, this film, um, I just I just loved it from the very opening. It really hooks you. Um, this this young girl, um, basically, named Sheeta, um, she, she, you see this kind of amazing action scene at the beginning. Um, she's basically getting... She, she's kind of, uh, she's being kidnapped kind of thing uh, by the government, um, these kind of agents and stuff. And it's very, very clear that it's because of this amulet, um, you know, stuff. And it's the whole kind of um, backstory and stuff, um, kind of mystery around the kind of Laputa um, and this ancestry stuff uh, going on there. And of course, the, the floating cities. Um, and of course, yeah, you soon learn, um, you know, after this. That they have to kind of go go to the sky um, to, to this kind of um, these cities um, in order to kind of save um, you know this kind of uh, this world if you like and, and kind of yeah just learn more about this uh, and yes Pazu is really the other main character of the film um, an orphan boy who kind of um, he works and stuff and yeah he's in this kind of this town um, you know it's very very peaceful beginnings this film um, you know really it's a film you know where you kind of um, it's kind of one of the perfect adventure films uh, in many ways because where it starts off very, very quiet um, and kind of tranquil. Um, you could say like Lord of the Rings. And then it becomes, as the film goes on, you know, the world opens up. Um, you know, it's kind of a masterful exposition, subtle exposition at the beginning. Um, and then you get to know the characters. And then, of course, it opens up. There's more adventure. There's more um, new places you discover. And it's just it's full of wonder. Um, and then, of course, you've got the climatic uh, kind of action scenes at the end, which for me, yes, you know, I think they're not quite as, you know, for me, investing as the rest of the film, you know, the final, once they reach the kind of the castle in the sky, um, you know, I think the very first kind of 10 minutes, I was, I was just kind of 
in awe of the world building, um, the kind of atmosphere and everything. But again, this whole kind of last sort of 35 minutes or so, um, maybe a bit more than that, it's not, you know, if I compare it, it's not quite as, um, you know, kind of, I don't love it as much, um, you know, but it's not flawed. Um, that's just like me saying another film, my favourite films list, I love more than, you know, this. It's like the final act, I, I don't love as more as the rest of the film, uh, you know, kind of up until this. Because it hasn't got as much um, you know, character moments, uh, you know, the relationship and, you know, the kind of warmth and stuff is, is you know, stronger uh, before this. Um, and of course, yeah, just just when the villains involve more, it's not quite as, um, you know, I, I take basically the earlier stuff um, over the stuff that happens um, towards the end of the film. But again, it is stunning. It's thrilling. Um, it's kind of so many edgy see moments, um, the tension here. Um, and of course, visually wonderful, um, really is. Um, but yes, I think this film really is pretty much flawless for me. I don't really have any flaws of it whatsoever. Um, I just think the final act, um, you know, I don't like as much, but a lot of films, you know, that is the case. I think really, um, you could say, if every, you kind of judge every act of a film, um, overall, if you kind of um, add them all up, I think maybe the, the final act of, you know, films are probably the weakest overall. Um, most common act to kind of um, be the weakest or least enjoyable. Um, not always the case, of course. Um, some some films, you know, the, the best act is the final act where it all comes together. I suppose on paper that, that, that really should be the best, um, you know, but again, it doesn't always happen. Um, but yeah, you know, I think the way that this kind of Miyazaki builds, builds us up um, and, and kind of gets me invested, the fantasy, the slight hints of it, um, and they're just the wonderful, beautiful moments um, at the beginning uh, and everything, and all these other characters, the pirates, um, when they're involved as well. Because it's so it's just so charming and stuff, um, I think that's why I prefer it more and, and just more more investing. Um, but I, I love all the film, really, every second of it. Um, and yes, it, it's just really, really mind-blowing. Um, the way that kind of um, Miyazaki, every single moment, kind of adds to this world building, as I say. Um, even the, the scenes in the mines, um, very, very early on, of course, with the, the old man. Um, that was just such a kind of... Um, Lovely moment. I remember when I first watched it, I was just like, oh, it's really amazing. And then when they leave him, it's just, it's kind of like, um, there's a lot of uh, kind of adventure films that do this. You kind of, little moments, um, you know, where you kind of remember these little kind of small intimate moments, maybe just a, a random character that never, you know, appears, you know, again, um, you could say. And it's, it's just, I loved um, all the these kind of moments in the film. Um, and as well, just the main cast of characters um, are amazing. Yes, um, all these characters, especially, um, of course, Cheetah, um, are so well developed, um, of course. Pazu is just a great character. Um, he's kind of, he's a really strong character, of course, um, and just the one that, you know, of course, with his, his backstory that's given, um, someone you really root for. Um, my least favourite character would be the villain, um, you could say, really, but again, you know, I don't think it's a flawed character. I just think, um, you know, he's he, my least favourite character, and it just happens that he's in the final act a lot more. Um, but yes, I think... This film is a wonderful film. Um, it, it's full of wonder, it's full of heart. Um, the visuals are absolutely stunning. Um, you know, I've seen, of course, um, Nausicaa, which I have, um, yeah, I have here, um, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Um, yes, um, and that is an, an amazing film, um, but I think this is, you know, the visuals are definitely improved here, um, you know, of course. This is the first Studio Ghibli film um, as well. It's really interesting that, of course, um, and yes, of course, Nausicaa was the one, really, that kind of launched Miyazaki, um, you know, it's a very, very, um, you know, kind of a massive stratosphere, basically. Um, and, of course, him and Takahata um, were the main kind of founders of um, Studio Ghibli. And, of course, Takahata produces this. Um, we have Joe Hisashi as well doing the score, um, which actually is overwhelming. It really is um, a, a wonderful score um, to this film. It is just, as well, the opening scene, um, of course, when, when Cheetah falls, um, that is just... A, a masterful moment, um, really is, the, the kind of music is used there, um, and it's just, this film has got so many kind of overwhelming, uh, you know, kind of scenes um, visually, you know, I think, even without the dialogue, just the visual moments, um, that just, this is Miyazaki, you know, this is what he can do, um, and just, yes, I think, um, there's so many moments that are very spiritual as well, um, this taps into spirituality, um, and of course it just, it's kind of a, you know, it's got quite a lot of emotional undercurrent to it, of course, with the backstory of the characters um, and just the way they're kind of the isolation it kind of taps into at times um, and stuff. And, and yes, the way that they band together, um, especially Shita and Pazu, um, it's just so it's so warm, um, you know, kind of just so so enjoyable. Um, and of course, they're kind of it's such an interesting kind of story with, with this kind of um, this 
these these cities and this castle in the sky they eventually go to um, the world building is so genius. Um, there's not you know this is an action adventure, but there's not you know loads of action um, at first, um, and it's just it's just great world building, um, masterful world building. Even the final um, as well the, the credits, um, you know even the credits are actually amazing. You know you you see brilliant, just wonderful uh, visuals there, um, and it's just even that. You kind of you just want to see more of this world. Um, just just even with the credits, as I say, um, it's just such a genius film. Um, I loved really all the characters. Um, you know, I, I don't think the villain's one of the best in film, but I, I think he was, of course, very compelling. Um, you know, and just the way that, of course, it's it's the kind of um, the relationship and kind of the stuff that happens with the other characters like Sheeta um, that makes, of course, him more compelling than he would be if, if that wasn't kind of. If there wasn't any kind of uh, connection there, um, but it's just such a kind of genius film. It's kind of a, just a legendary tale. Um, I kind of it's very 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 comforting. Uh, this film as well. It's, it's like Totoro, where um, you know you can just revisit, revisit this and kind of just feel at ease. Um, you know, revisiting these old characters um, that you kind of seen before, and it's just it's such a wonderful um, you know wonderful film. Um, it's got great comedy in there. Um, the pirates as well, of course. These are the characters that you know add a lot of the comedy to the film. And yeah, I just think uh, charming characters there. Um, of course, the, the the leader of the pirates, uh, the mother um, as well. She's great, of course, in the film. Um, one of the best characters. And yeah, I think um, the ending as well it comes together wonderfully. Um, although, yeah, I maybe would have you know to be even better, you know, even higher on my list. It would have been more of a an ending that wrapped things up more. Um, it was you know it's quite a, quite a quick ending if you if you like. Um, but yeah, that's that's fine by me. Um, it's not flaw. It's just a. I think maybe it could have been even higher if it had been more of a more of an emotional one, but also just the one where it's just a bit more wrapped up um, directly. I would have said, um, but yes, you know, this film from start to finish um, for me is a masterpiece. Um, no denying that, um, and it's just I think um, it's not quite you know top tier Miyazaki um, because there is there is other films he made um, like I'll give you one Mononoke. Um, you know, I think um, it's it's nowhere near you know something like that, um, but for me. It is a masterpiece, um, and it actually gets a plus, um, and it's very, very close. Um, this film, right on the borderline um, between a tier two and a tier three, um, and I think actually I have to give it a tier three, um, 100% plus tier three, of course. Um, that is, um, you know, a, a extremely high score for me. That's that's a, a masterpiece that is truly, truly special. Um, that kind of goes above and beyond, um, you know, kind of regular masterpieces, which is kind of offensive to say but you know it's just the way that I do my rankings I don't like to just say masterpiece I like to, to give films extra you know um, when they get into you know say top 150 um, and now almost my top 200 um, which is the tier 3 kind of cut off you could say um, but this film gets a very very high tier 3 um, it's very very close literally a couple of spaces um, but I do have to kind of draw the line with films like Reservoir Dogs um, you know Kim for Comedy uh, Mean Streets and kind of some of the films as well um, that are kind of in there around that mark um, that I kind of I do prefer to this um, and there is a line of course and I just have to say it's very very close but you know these films I don't quite prefer as you know to them um, you know because I do I just like them even more I love them even more so yes very very close but a tier three um, is massive praise for me I think this is a stunning film um, in every sense uh, it's full of charm you know this is just of course, it's another charming film from Miyazaki. Um, it's just really wonderful. The music um, is absolutely wonderful. It's magical, um, and of course, it just you know it's it's another you know a score you can listen to, and it kind of just makes you well up because it's just so beautiful. Um, it's not a sad one really. It's not um, you know kind of a one that it's necessarily you know kind of immensely deep in the way say Mononoke is, where you kind of feel the tragedy in it. Um, but it's just a one that is. It's so beautiful um, and so profound that it just makes me, you know, kind of emotional. So yes, this film um, is, is just a perfect adventure film, action film, um, fantasy. I love the way that Miyazaki builds his, you know, his worlds. Um, slowly brings in the fantasy, um, you know, just like Totoro, um, the kind of relatable kind of beginnings. Um, and then you've got more of the aspects, um, the kind of um, stuff coming in gradually over the film. And then you've got the kind of full on um, reveal at the end where it kind of, Builds the film up and then it reveals and then it's just so so wonderful to kind of take this kind of um, this this fantasy in um, to the brain um, and yes while the, the final act of the film um, is not my favourite of the film you know I think it's definitely not quite as um, 
as invested in and I don't love it as much, um, but I did love it, of course. Um, I love every moment of the film. Um, yes, the villain is not one of the best um, you know, in film, but I think no flaws there because it's just so well written and it's so the connection between him and uh, Sheeta, of course. Um, and yeah, the main characters, of course, Sheeta and Pazu, um, you know, it's not quite, as I say, it's, yeah, it's not as deep as like Mononoke or something, um, even with the characters, but I think on the, in its own right, basically, um, it is something where the characters are so engaging, they're so, you know, compelling um, and just so enjoyable to kind of watch, kind of interact. Um, you know, it's just a genius film, the world building, the fantasy, of course, um, the action in the film is just so creative and kind of, thrilling um, and of course the, the adventure spirit there has you know it's a very very light-hearted most of the film and it has got some very deep um, kind of spiritual stuff in there um, with the character of Shito especially um, but again it's not a film that will you know like Mononoke or something where it's really or Grave of the Fireflies um, where it's devastating it is more um, yeah lighter uh, lighter in tone um, and not something that is going to make you um, completely shattered by the end of it you know and that's it, uh, emotionally uh, it's not Grave of the Fireflies and yes, I don't prefer it as much, you know, to, to certain ones, you know, like this. I don't think it's top five, um, you know, of the Studio Ghibli's that I've seen. Not quite, um, but it's not far off of that. I have seen, of course, you know, around 11 ones now. Um, so yes, this film, um, I absolutely adore it and I'd highly recommend it, of course, if you've not seen it. And yes, um, an absolute masterpiece for me. Easy masterpiece, um, of course, of tier three. Some other ones that, uh, that I'm definitely going to be watching soon. Um, Rewatching, of course. Nausicaa, um, love this film, um, whether it's, it's one of my favourites or not, you'll have to find out, um, but yes, uh, then of course we have Whisper of the Heart, I've not seen this yet, um, another studio Ghibli that I've got um, that I really look forward to seeing, um, and yeah, another one that I really want to see soon, um, when Marnie was there, uh, so yes, um, as well, just uh, a couple other ones as well, Kagua that I want to rewatch. Um, Pretty soon as well. Um, adore that film. Uh, really want to see that again soon and stuff. So yes, we'll be buying some more. Um, maybe at some point um, in the next month or so. Um, maybe buy a couple this week. But yes, for now, I say thanks for watching my review.